Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the 8-bit Do Media Remote for, which will work for Xbox, all the Xbox Ones and the new Xbox Series S and X. Now, basically, what this is for is, well, at least in my case, well, it's the only case really. Um, it's basically just a remote for your Xbox. So rather than using the game controller, you can use just like a normal. It's kind of like a normal TV remote. I think Microsoft actually stopped making their media remote, or I'm not sure. But this is meant to be good. I don't think there's much of a setup. I think it just works. But this is the little version. They have a big one as well, because you can get the TV tuner to use it like a set top box. But now nah, it's just Netflix, BBC iPlayer, that sort of stuff for me. YouTube. Ah, it's well small. It's actually really nice quality. Got the Xbox button. And they give you batteries in the box, which I suppose a lot of things do. But it's still nice that they give you the batteries. So you just gotta slide this up. And then the batteries go in there. That's the weird way of doing it, because you'd think that because that's got like a separate seam that it would just that bit would slide off. Oh right, it's got a backlight on it. And that's quite smart as well, it lights up when you pick it up. That's cool, and then like, you know, when you're in bed and that. Right, if you can't see it. Ah, I'm just pressed it and it's just being my Xbox on. Uh, they've got the instruction manual. Pretty sure we don't need that. So it's signing me in now. I think it's going to make me um, enter in my passkey. Oh no, maybe not. But yeah, straight out of the box and it's already working. So it's got the OK button that works like normal, but then we've also got like the normal buttons that are on the Xbox A, B, X, Y, which I suppose just makes it a bit easier if you don't know what you're pressing. So this is just an excuse to try out my new thing that I got for Christmas. I got some Blu-rays. I did. I got the Inbetweeners movie, the Inbetweeners movie 2. And the Gavin and Stacey box set. So, um, I'm just gonna. Just an excuse to show you my present, really. Uh, this has got four discs. Let's just put one in. Uh, for this, we'll just go. Well, I need to put on it. That's some extras. How it happened, outtakes, behind the scenes. Oh, this would be quite. These would be quite nice to watch, to be fair. Yeah, so it's got the pause buttons and that, so you don't have to stop. And then I assume it will go back to the Xbox menu, or yeah, that's right. It's got the button here, which is for. It's got the button here, which is for one guide. Which, you, if you don't know, on the on the Xbox Ones, there's a HDMI input on the back, so you could use that for your Skybox or something. But as I mentioned earlier, the TV tuner that that menu would get you to that. So it says there, TV signal is lost. Well, we never had one. Home. But yeah, this would be really good, say, if you're... I mean, it doesn't matter for me, because I'm the only one that uses this. But say you're in the living room, you don't have a smart TV, you have an Xbox, you use it for your Netflix and that, but you've got other people in the house that wouldn't know how to use the Xbox controller. This would be perfect, but for me... I mean... When all I want to do is watch some Netflix, it's quite a big thing to keep on the bedside table. So, it's very nice, takes you back. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a couple of days once I've used it. It's only one day later, but I'm in bed watching the telly, watching Gavin and Stacey I am. Um, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you the backlight on it. Well, it's not focused, but... Yeah, you can see... Like, you can't see it much now, I mean, you can kind of tell, but then you pick it up, and it lights up, you can see what you're doing, obviously it looks better over here, because the TV, but you really, 
You can see what you're doing, it's like right there's the pause button. You watch it and yeah. So the backlight is really useful, like as soon as you put it down it will dim. Yeah, and then you pick it up and it comes back up. So yeah. So guys, I've now had this remote for a bit over a month and I have to say it's very nice. It's a lot nicer than just using that Xbox controller. As you can see, I've changed myself a lot. Um, to be fair, I don't really need this anymore because I used to use my Xbox for Netflix, everything. I've got a smart TV now, um, but still use it for Blu-rays. But I did get a lot of use out of this and it's very good. I, as I said, it's a lot nicer than using the Xbox controller. It just brings it all together, like, especially like, I mean, this is my bedroom, but like, say you used it in a living room, it'd be a lot nicer because everyone would be easier to figure out how to use this than an Xbox controller. So if you don't use Xbox, but if you have an Xbox, like, it's got all the, it's got like new buttons, like back buttons, like that, but then it's still got like all your normal XBY, like just for another app as well you don't have that and it's got a separate one guide button which if you don't know what that is this will not be as big of a deal on a on one of the new generation xbox but as you can see if you ever wondered how you use the hdmi in on the back of the xbox there's just a one guide app and basically whatever's plugged into that will come up now you can also get a usb like tv tuner and then just watch Preview view through your Xbox if that's the thing you want to do so that's what that button there is for and then you've just got like all your general normal buttons and that now one thing is unlike the Xbox controller it is not Bluetooth it is IR it's IR like a TV remote so it points out the top there and the IR sensor on the Xbox is here so it is directional you can't just like on the Xbox controller you could just have it in another room and it'd still work. It's not like that at all. But apart from that, it's very good. I definitely recommend. So thank you guys for watching. Hope to come hope you guys come back for another video. Um I've got a few videos coming around on this whole setup here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.